Okay, I actually beat the first dungeon of the Tinker before just to try things out, but I'm gonna try the Joker class. This one's a lot more gimmicky compared to the others. Elsa's room. Pih. Pissed. Hi there, welcome to Game Master Plus, a story about grand wishes, mysterious crystals, and the heroes of the past. Before we start, let me ask you a question. What will you say you- are you rare, brave, or curious? Brave, huh? The fire class seems to be the right choice. Fire uses a variety of weapons and spends stat points gained when leveling up to improve her attack, defense, and tempo. A rather conventional class. Sounds fun? No. Search your feelings. Curious. Curious, huh? The Tinker class seems to be the right choice. Tinker can deal massive damage with a hammer and support allies by healing them and making them stronger. A somewhat dadal class. Sounds fun? Search your feelings. Oh, both? Far be it for me to doubt that, but you'll have to make a decision. Neither. Oh, neither? That's a surprising answer. If you mean that this game might not actually be for you. Take a moment and think about it. No. I think I have to do this multiple times. Can't make up your mind, huh? The Joker class might be the right choice. Joker uses chakram, staves, and sipes, as well as enemy skills playing cards dropped by that enemy. An extraordinary class. Basically a blue mage class. Sound fun? So be it. Enjoy the game. That should be enough for a morning. Now for some breakfast. Explore quite a bit. Joker has starts with 15 hit points. That's not a whole lot, is it? I hope I don't regret this decision. And also, we walk really slow indoors, which is a little kind of inconvenient. Underwear and secret things. Cozy mantle. Warm outside. As grandfather used to say, few things are what they seem to be. Some, some blue objects are actually blue crystals, which, like in the wild silver, you have to collect. Empty to-do list. Okay, items to sell for one cent are limited, so don't bar selling them. For new powers granted by the wizard, Alora slew the demonic invaders. The people started calling her a heroine. Soon, a tower was built in her honor in which she resided until her death. Even today, her valor has not been forgotten. Since she left the earth, it is said she sits in front amidst the stars watching over us by night. One covered book about engineering caught your eyes. You don't understand a word. Problem is, only a tinker can use that. I feel like a lot of the game was designed for the tinker in mind, huh? Yes. A lot of mutually exclusive content, but at the same time, only the Joker can be a blue mage. And actually use the enemy cards in more creative ways. Grab the feel. Unfortunately, this cannot be used by anyone other than Tinker, so I'm probably just going to sell it. Or maybe there's someone else who can take it. I don't know. Oh, so are you done practicing? That was really not quite a nice piece. Your breakfast is ready, dear. Painting of Hubert the Owl brings back the fondness of memories. Wodge of cheese, you never know. Steam Drive, that's the same even on the Joker run, huh? Premium plate, chest key. There's a package from one of our neighbors. It was delivered here by accident. Will you mind bringing it over? The context of the and the wording matter a lot, so say no. I don't mind at all. Thank you, dear. You say breakfast is the most important meal of the day. Max hit point grew by 5. Now I have 20 hit points. It's a shame because this means I won't be able to... Uh, my robots are, are going to be a lot weaker, so I'm going to have to depend a lot more on Elsa and hope that she can keep up with her Joker stuff. Everyone who beats the game is granted a wish by the wizard. We can learn that from the holy books. Some wishes seem to be purer than others, so... I'm going to wish for everlasting peace in the world. It might be dangerous to play the game, but if you think about all the gold you find on adventures like this, fear becomes negligible. This is a beautiful little village. We'll soon be heading for the slumber woods in the west. As you may know, one of the game boards is located there. Yesterday, the spells I tried to open the portal with didn't do anything. Let's hope it works this time around. Ten cents of potions. This is not what the chess key is for. Even better. Use the bathroom to save your game. 
I already backed up my saves in case this class turns out to be really, really unbalanced. Estragon. Extra container. Also for a robot, and also something I won't be able to use, ever. Greetings, young lady. How can this old man be of any help to you? Oh, maybe about a package? Hmm. Oh yes, look, the address on this says it is for the engineer. His workshop is, has exactly that address. We have a clear accordance here. We do. It's the building north of your house. There are only three houses and homes, so you cannot possibly miss it. Ten cent potion. Circuit. Well, so many crates. There must be a lot of old stuff stored in them. Hmm. Crucial circuit again. And chest key. Totally okay to steal his key. The old man will just have to. Uh, will just think he misplaced it. Morality and adventure don't really go well together. Hmm. Most of the supplies, including a, a large egg, but we can't take it yet. Weird. Hmm. Some really inconvenient RTP here, and I can't seem to push these everywhere. Buried book about chemistry caught your eyes. Not a chest. Yeah, I won't be able to use that. Why would anyone block their own bedroom like that? Yeah, there's supposed to be a set for opening a puzzle chest, but I don't have that, so does that mean I'm screwed out of them? As Grandfather used to say, few things are what they seem to be. Blue Crystal. Estragon. Another one. It's a beautiful day, isn't it? I come here for a training session every day, but it's twice the fun when the sun's shining like this. Oh my, apologies. You seem to be new to the village. Let me introduce myself. My name's Neef, but everyone calls me Champion. I'm adept at all kinds of fighting styles. Damage dealing, tanking, max decks, hybrid builds, you name it. Hmm, I get a feeling you weren't interested in fighting like me, are you? Never mind then. Hmm. Purple? It's different this time. What? Two barrels here. For fame and honor, I'll beat the game as the heroine once did. There's nothing that can stop me now. Except for the board entrance, this is, that is. If only the mage could finally find a way to open them. One massive portal. Nothing behind it, apparently. Okay, another blue crystal. Well, my child, I'm the jeweler, traveler between the continents. I see you like to travel too. Quite an adventurous, are you not? Maybe you can help me. I'm looking for gems of a particular kind, the so-called blue crystals. I will present myself grateful for every contribution. Oh, yeah, I found three. We might handing them over. I haven't liked what we're trying to fix myself. Whoops, understandably so. I can only hope you'll change your mind. But you have to say no, even though it takes more effort to do so. Feel generous today. At the moment, I have three blue crystals. Okay. Got Estragon times three. Sealed. It's different. It says and puzzled in the tinker route, but here it says sealed. Obelisk, that's out of place. Hmm. Okay. Switch for the three buttons. A. B. B again. A. Filthy glue obtained. Hmm. 158. Great potion times three, repair kit times three. Nerp. I am I can't use other than selling. I hope they sell for a decent amount then. Ah, oh, blue crystal. Hi, nice to meet you. My name's Clarissa. I'm the engineer's daughter, but I don't like all that rusty machinery. I prefer weaving over being a hell out of a piece of metal. I can even make you a protective waistcoat if you can wear it instead of heavy armor. Oh, you actually prefer a different style of garment. Waistcoats aren't for everyone, that's for sure. I personally don't like them either, to be honest. I only like making them. He are easy to make due to the lack of sleeves. Sleeves are worst. If you find magical thread for me to weave with, bring it here nonetheless, okay? I'll give you something else in return. I guess an alternate reward for the Joker. 
Grab the feel. Third book about chess puzzles. Don't understand a word. What the heck am I supposed to do with the Joker? I guess a different book might help? Welcome to my workshop. You must be one of our new neighbors, right? Elsa, isn't it? But nice to meet you and welcome to home. You shake hands. You probably didn't have much time to look around, but tell me, how do you like this village for Do you think you can get used to living here? Most definitely. I think it's beautiful. But I hear that. Most young people find it boring here. This town used to be flourishing a few centuries ago, but then it became less and less interesting when people stopped playing the game. There are some adventurers from time to time trying to solve the mysteries of the game, but that's about it. This town itself doesn't look like much, but at least we got have some good work most of the time, not that it matters to me. I'm always in here since I'm working on an important project, and I don't want to reveal any information on it yet, but it's going to be life-changing. You don't seem to believe me, huh? Well, I'm the best engineer around, so if I can't do it, who can? Anyway, what brings you here? Oh, a package? That must be it. Finally, after all these, well, days were it merely, but I couldn't wait. I'm glad that you brought it here so fast. It would have been a shame if it had gotten lost. Hand over the package. Here we go, by the gods of steam and metal. Red ball of light glowing in it. Find a little creepy, but you won't show that. Looks strange, right? Well, let me explain. What we see here in front of us is a so-called mana core. It's basically a gem that contains a ton of compressed mana, the source of what some people may erroneously call magic. It's from the grumbling mines. I don't know what happened in there, but some time ago they stopped mining those these cores. It wasn't that easy at all to get this one, and quite expensive too. Mana cores can be used to fuel special machines that run mana if you know how to do it correctly. That's At least that's a theory I read about. I'm eager to try it, and that's what I needed the core for. It's the most difficult project, but I'd be happy to show you the results soon. For, so for the time being, I beg you a little patience. Grab a beer if you want. Hmm. Okay, not much else I can do, and I grabbed all the items I could in this room, I think. Yeah. Fight. Okay, now I have to get... Now I have two minutes until he finishes, but... Back in the original version, there was supposed to be something you could actually do f t within those two minutes, but... Here, I'm not so sure. I couldn't get the piano to work before. It's really scuffed. Yeah, I don't think it's possible to figure this out without a guide, but the developer never made a guide for this game. Oh, uh, what a shame. Kill time. That's not very helpful. Man. Like, what can I possibly do? There's no h real hints. It's one of those things you have to literally break into the code for. The obelisk, maybe? I don't know. How am I doing on terms of, in terms of checklist? Okay, got that all the hints. Star capsule obtained. Let's hope I have all the stuff I need. Hmm. Maybe search outside a bit. I can't really do much else about this. Oh well. Yeah, a lot of the areas are not explorable right now. I don't think this place even has any hidden stuff in it, does it? Undine's place, but the thing is, I can't even do anything about this vine, huh? Yeah, North Way. This is supposed to lead to the final area, I think, so there's definitely not much I can do here. There's no pin to the Scarecrow's head. I'm a Scarecrow with no hidden items to count, because if I feel anything, I'm sure I would feel useless. Ouch. A witch who could brew something to get rid of it. But where could I find such a witch? Do I have to somehow get into the Undine's place?
Any hidden walls? Yeah, some of these are just really... There's no visual cues on where to find things. Remember there's a, a, a side entrance in one the uh, in the west area. It actually has a ton of gold that will definitely help you start up your adventure. Hmm, see something I can get over there maybe? Your uh, taunting triples defense and raises target rate by 400%. Keep in mind there are ways to use this offensively too. Also keep in mind that this state may block our buff, so timing is key. Elite mode will raise all our stats by 25% and have no MP cost. But I can gain zero mode by killing them, which basically does the same for me. Miracle Bulb. Another unbreakable tree. This game is about taking your time to examine objects, finding various items, and figuring out what can be done aside from the main quest. I hope you tend to find joining these things. On the other hand, having too many optional things at once can look kind of intimidating. Attack raises damage and crit rate by 0.5% per point. Defense lowers damage taken and raises block rate by 0.5% per point. DMP raises initiative and combo and evasion rates by 0.5% per point of difference. Something strange about the chicken. Being a golden chicken 50 cents turns on epic haze until resting. While activated, board enemies enter elite mode, its battles start more often, and Elsa's TMP is raised by 20. It's basically something you want to do when you've already mastered the dungeon, I guess. For now, just break all of these pots to get filthy rich. Yes, I feel like it, it, you really need this spot if you're you, if you're really unsure about how to play the game efficiently. Since having a ton of money gives you some room for error. I really hope the Joker at least has some decent early game stuff. And it's actually properly tested from start to finish for every single enemy in the game. I guess for the most part I'll be relying on my robots, but still, I hope the Joker can at least support them to some extent. A hidden switch, well, push. What can go wrong? That's a slow animation. Okay, more pots. Hidden switch? Well... What can go wrong? There's another hidden switch uh, near that uh, other pillar... Uh, uh, north of the pond, but it's not actually gonna work. It's just a dud to throw you off. Just for help, I'm gonna activate this dud switch. It probably won't do anything. Nothing happened. I was hoping it would unlock some kind of secret. Oh, may don't tell me. Maybe if I had gotten here within the time limit, I would have been able to unlock something. I hope that's not the case. That would be pretty bad. Well, I'll never know because it's too much of a hassle to go back and do it, huh? Damn it. Rec repairing this bridge is much more complicated than I had expected. How has it been damaged like this in the first place? It won't be possible before tomorrow, I'm afraid. Not possible before tomorrow, huh? Well, I'll be back. What do you want in the woods? I stay away from there. It's spooky and dangerous. Sounds exciting. There's also a strange portal from ancient times which gives me the chills. A strange portal from ancient times? Tell me more. I don't know much about it, but apparently it was used for training purposes back in the days when the heroine was still around. Do you think she used it herself to get as strong as she was? Who knows? Anyway, I need to get back to work. That's, there's actually not that much bridge to repair, is there? I'm a slow worker, but I repair bridges carefully. Wouldn't want anyone to fall into the river, would we? It's more of a pond if you ask me, but please do your thing. 
wood. How do I even get my MP up if, I'm, if I can't increase it like the Tinker can by, by reading books? What does the Joker even get? You're back. I've indeed completed the work. Come take a look at this masterpiece. The color scheme makes it look rusty, but you do like that steampunk flavor. It wasn't an easy job. After all the careful planning and some minor fixes, the robot now seems to work just as intended. With this metallic body, it would have been a piece of cake to win a game for the fighters back in the days. If only the game was still running. Anyway, my work here is done, and to be quite honest, I don't even know what to do with this machine. Well, I guess I could teach you to clean the workshop in the evening or something akin to it. Add to that, huh. But seriously, now, I was actually just curious to see where building a robot with a monocore would work at all. Now that I found out, I might as well give the robot to you. You can take him around a little, maybe you can even learn how to make it fight for you. Uh, what do you mean you can't accept it? Oh, come on. Now that the joy of assembly has been had, it's really just a pile of metal to me. I'm more than happy to give it to someone who may have actual use for it. Consider it your welcome present. You should give it a name. Brutus the Brutal. Brutus, what a powerful name. This information may be a bit lost on you for the time being, but please keep in mind that the robot may counter a 25% chance. Additionally, it's resistant to the following debuffs. In order to restore the robot's primary energy, you'll need special items. Here, I'll give you my last ones. It appears you can't buy these things around here at the moment, so use them wisely. You know, uh, now that I think about it, this is quite an, an unacceptable situation, isn't it? Items are great, but how you heal your robot at a reasonable convenience, similar to how having a nap or taking a bath fully recovers yourself. Give me a night to find a way to ensure you can heal your robot fast and easy anytime and continue your adventure with its maximum power. Oh, I see you have two crucial circuits. Let me give you these in exchange. Repair kits. Oh, if I give him these unused usable items, I get extra repair kits? Nice. Have fun with your robot. Makes up for the healing being weaker for non-tinkers. Hmm. So where should I take this robot for a spin? Greetings, young lady. How can this old man be of any help to you? Would you like me to show some wisdom? About the island. I'd like to hear more about the place that's not my home. I see. Well, this village constitutes the central place of the island, and from here you can go into each cardinal direction via the so-called cardinal ways. To give you a bright idea of what to find, there are deep woods in the west, ancient ruins in the south, and snowy mountains in the east. So you basically have everything an adventurer, or adventurous for that matter, could hope for as far as exploring checkered landscape is concerned. Oh, I almost forgot, in the north lies the Moonlight Plateau, a mysterious place that had once been important to players of the game. From there they would hope to enter the Moonlight Palace one day, the final destination of their endeavor. About the game, I'd like to hear more about the game people keep talking about. Well, the game consists of multiple boards in a mysterious final destination called the Key Warden's Realm. The wizard created this, the boards not uh, uh, boards long ago and placed the entrances in different regions of the island. After clearing the last board, players would have to fight against a Key Warden, a monster that protected the key to the Moonlight Palace where the wizard resided. I wonder if it's related to level 99 Final Fortress somehow. I probably don't have to mention that only the most powerful fighters were able to get that far. Of course, only one of them actually managed to defeat the Key Warden, and that was heroine Elor. After the wizard has disappeared, though, the entrances cease to work, and thus the game itself slowly faded into oblivion in other parts of the world. About the wizard. I'd like to hear more about that wizard guy. Well, the wizard created the game and announced the prize to the public, being granted a wish. After that, however, he was seldom to be seen in the year 488. He disappeared completely from the face of the earth. 488, that sounds important. Most people assume he had simply died, but some believe he had lost his interest in our world and moved on to the next. His name? Nobody would know it, and it's entirely possible he didn't even have one, considering how peculiar his words and deeds seem to have been. In fact, some people were very suspicious of the wizard and wouldn't talk about him at all. As magically powerful as he was, it was only natural for people to be afraid of him, wasn't it? Poor old man. I'd like to hear more about fighting. Well, my apologies, but I'm merely an old man and certainly not of any help with that. But there is a girl we call a champion who has her training area north of my house. I don't know much about her besides that, but maybe you could ask her for help on that matter. Even though you do not actually appear to be much of a fighter, if I may venture to say so. Oh, what's that? Some sort of fighting machine? Na Nape starts to survey your robot with fervent curiosity. I've never seen one of these things before. It looks powerful, as far as one can tell about a pile of metal. Nape can't stop staring at Brutus. I'd love to watch a fight. Will you allow? If I say no, sh it's brand new, you know. I won't break it, promise. Can we start now? 
She won't even give you a choice. That's kind of annoying. This, oh well, you can handle it. Okay, do not use any MP for this one. All right. This is your first battle. I would recommend you warm up first. Simply use attack. Okay, we already know this part. Only Bruce can deal damage because I don't even have a weapon. If you use taunt like I do, you can take less damage and draw enemy attention. That may be useful later if you want enemies to attack or not sp attack a specific actor. Please keep in mind that attacks deal at least one damage. Even weaker enemies can bring you down given enough time. She has burn status effect, huh? What if she actually dies from that? That would be pretty bad. I say this should be enough. What do you think? Not bad. Your robotic friend is indeed quite capable. The more you fight, the more powerful it will become. Another round then? I think I have a better idea. Shoot. The nasty bats have appeared in the slumber woods. You should go slay them to gain more experience and become more powerful. Nasty bats, huh? Well, we, sh we shall try. If I'm not mistaken, the woods are in the west. That's so. The slumber woods can be reached via the waterway. It's not far at all. All right. I want you to be careful out there, okay? Always keep your distance to the enemies. Let the robot do the dirty work if you can. Elsa does always keep her distance to the enemies, but she has half target rate. The best can be kind of tough if you're just starting out, so please be extra careful, okay? Make good use of the taunt command if you get into trouble. Maybe you should also get a good night's rest before you leave. So it has been pretty, become pretty late. Oh dear, what is that thing you wonder about with? It wouldn't be a robot, would it? Twice says, when I was young, we only had wooden figurines to play with. I'm just gonna hit the hay and hope Joker can still hold her own. What? I can sleep again? Is that gonna have consequences? No, it probably just heals only the human character, right? Can I get another human party member? Robots can be kind of inconvenient to heal because you have to use... Uh, you have to spend 10 on them. I know it's quite unusual, but I have nothing more to, for you to help me with at the moment. Enjoy your holidays, dear. A robot, a, a robot healing machine. Will it restore hit point and MP of all robots and refills money units? Insert 10 gold. No. I don't have... I don't want to waste too much resources. Give him the fourth one. Not enough for the threshold. Have you seen the machine outside? I called the station, although I kind of like Bot Spring too. You can recover your robot there should be, get damaged or otherwise weakened by an enemy attack. In addition to that, you can recharge your mana units there, buy really like items that restore robots MP. They look like this. The recovery fluid uses is extremely expensive, however, so please understand that I had to build in some kind of payment mechanism. I'm sure you'll find plenty of treasure on your adventure, so it really shouldn't be a, an issue, right? It will be an issue. Oh, and one more thing. Well, it's kind of embarrassing for an engineer as ambitious as I am, but I couldn't find a way to make the machine distinguish between state types. That means the reco re that recovering your robots with it will get rid of the buffs and buffs alike. Sorry for the inconvenience. Whenever you have a really good buff going, you may want to rely on items for restoring hit point and MP. I'm a merchant. You can buy items and equipment from me. My range of goods may seem rather limited at the moment, but I'll make sure I extend it after certain events in the game. Or, I mean, eventually. Anything you need? Ancient One is the only thing Elsa can equip. Yeah, that sucks. Now I have an attack of four, which is actually a lot weaker than what the <laughs> than what the Tinker was able to equip. Which, oh man, I hope I didn't pick the wrong class because I don't. If I don't get the en enemy cards to drop, I'm basically boned. Skywalkers. It's not useful now until I get some more DMP growth. Okay. 
Hey, I got a miracle bulb from this one. I guess I forgot to, about this patch. Whoops. Okay. Back to this. Another sealed chest? Handbag of healing. This is going to be important as well. Hit point regeneration. Yes. Zero out of 30 secrets. Estragon. Brand nuts. I have no idea what they do. Estragon. That was a loud exclamation. Oh, what's that? Could it be a portal? The portal with nothing that it would lead into. Have they seen something like this before? But how and why? Who in their right mind? Estragon again. Estragon. I'm gonna save real quick before fighting the bat. It has a small chance to drop a potion, but it's not very reliable. That makes me mad. Estragon again. All enemies seem to have a pattern, so I'll have Elsa attack, but British shall taunt. It's gonna be even worse because Elsa's attack really sucks here. I don't want to waste MP right away. Finally. Got potion, great potion. Whoa, I actually got lucky that time. Could be that jokers have really high drop rates? What? Easy enough. Let's explore more while we're here. That was actually pretty insane. Leaves crown in. Nothing. There's a hot spring I can use to heal, but it's really only good for the human character in it. And it's really a waste I don't have any MP right now. I wonder, do I gain ex do my characters gain experience if they're knocked out or not? Oh, I, s I realized I missed a nut back there. Hold on. Brand nuts. Estragon. Autumn Moral. Uh, unlike Pillars of Dust, this game does not have visual cues for their items. More granites. Yeah, like in the like in that other game, you can jump over Lily. Uh, you can jump over certain gaps to do a little bit of, of pseudo platforming. I wonder if the Joker really does have higher drop rates. I fought the bat again and got one potion. Well, I guess it's to make sure you can get the cards, right? A weird feeling creeps over you as you stand in front of the portal. Do you want to touch it? Yes. Alright, you certainly have me curious. Let's find out what happens. It's activated, so can I actually open this? This, this is way more interesting than fighting some random bats for no good reason. Uh, I do feel like the Tinker class is the easier to use because of the sheer... Uh, 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 because of the ability to just heal, revive your robot and give it stat boosting items. Okay, game board. Clear every node. Those nodes have something special in them. Not sure what.
Now we're all weakened. Yeah, these jellies are annoying, but if I could get that enfeeble skill for myself, I'd be happy. Unfortunately, I have no MP because this game decides I don't need it for some reason. Man. Oh, I didn't get a drop. What? No, I don't get any... No MP growth either. Like, what? what is the Joker supposed to do for MP? Okay, these are quiz panels. Quiz time. There's not many Nightcarver stats, so which stat determines initiative? Correct. Estragon obtained. Quiz time. TMP is a pretty versatile stat. What does TMP not raise? Stun attack rate? Correct. Estragon. Some of these are easy, some of these require you to look at past footage to even have a chance. Oh, it's an elite. Great. I'm gonna have to use filthy glue again. These guys are too tanky. I kind of miss a tinker already. I didn't get any drops. I probably had a drop rate thing. No. Oh, that was not worth it. Found a spark. Pharmacology. Finally! Cure obtained, but how do I even cast it? It costs 2 MP, but I have no MP at all. Convert hard skills into 5, 15 hit points and 3 MP each. I can't even do that. That's, this is terrible. How do I even get MP at this point? Seriously. The Joker is really the hard mode class, isn't it? They seem to be unwilling to fight. Run, Estragon, run? No, I need the experience. Grumpy Wisp card obtained. Jelly card obtained. Okay. But I still have no MP, so it's kind of unhelpful. Mana drain. Oh, good. If only I had some mana so I could actually drain that. Seriously, what am I expected to do at this point with this class? Quiz time. You check the same time in the menu. Red. Correct. Estragon. Sort all MP. Okay, let's go take out some more nodes. Found a spark. Stun attack boost? Oh, it's a different boost this time. I found another spark. Stun attack boost again. But it's really hard to use unless you're fast enough. Okay, made it to the second MP heal. When you clear all the red fields around you, a jewel will appear. 3-6 experience. Okay, I'm on track so far. Hmm. Right now, Elsa just has no freaking options at all. No MP, no nothing. 
Like, what am I supposed to do with this class if I can't find a way to increase my MP? Is there a secret way that they haven't told me about? Okay, let's hope I can beat the boss like this. I don't have the powerful skill I had as a tinker where I could lower the enemy's defense. In fact, I don't have anything I can actually use. Seriously, tinker is so OP compared to this. I'm on fire! But the boss took, like, half his health there. Ooh, wow, nice crit. Using a store capsule may have made things easier in some ways. Oh, your max MP grew by free. Finally! I can use magic! I can finally use my skills, even if... I can't use them that all that often. Still better than nothing. Six hit points to everyone is actually not too bad at this point, I guess. Plus, I can use Mana Drain if I need to later on, I guess. And I still need more MP. This free is not enough. 50 cents. Aegis. Can I do anything with that? No. No, why would I ever get to use any, literally anything for the Joker? Joker's pretty much have to spend. We'll probably have to spend the entire beginning of the game almost naked. Oh, now I can walk around like it's a normal map instead of being confined to the lines. Can I re redo that dungeon if I want to, like, farm stuff? Also, the Spider-Man adventurers who only very recently had come to the region of the game boards found one of them in the western woods and for an unknown reason absolutely couldn't resist her curiosity. She entered the board oddly enough being able to, with no idea what would await her, and was confronted by vile creatures she had never even heard of before. Yeah, maybe I can get a good item to drop that I can actually use. With the aid of the robot, a neighbor's welcome present to her, she withstood the dangers and defeated all of them. She even managed to overcome an especially powerful one, a dexterous man-like beast with sharp fangs and claws, the final guardian of the board. It's also so filled with pride and a feeling of heroism. Close to, chosenness wasn't even a real word, but the first one that came to her mind. It was clear she had to proceed searching for the game boards and rediscover what was sealed with them long, long ago. In a galaxy far away. Well, if I could really farm them again and again, I could make some decent money by selling the cards. But I doubt I could get the MP boost again. I'd probably have to- I could probably get some- maybe something at the- uh, some money at the end, but that's about it. If I can win without using any items, that'd be great. The adventure has just begun. Wow, that was something. I think this bat fighting business is over. This game playing is- one is way more interesting. I believe I'm onto something very important here. I should tell the Elder about it, I think. This wasn't supposed to happen, was it? it reminds me a bit of Sacred Earth map system. Good to go. I can't challenge it again! No! That was a one-time thing, and I, all I got was a dinky little shield that I can't even equip. Seriously, at least have these things match the player's class, or at least it's completely pointless. Man. I hope the merchant has something for me, though. Come here to chop firewood every day. Blacksmith business, you know. Want to help? Yes. Is this, is this a side quest? I'm going to chop all the wood. No, I'm just kidding. I never asked a young girl like you to wield a heavy axe. Wouldn't it look awkward even holding it with a figure as fragile as yours? Texas talk? You need to calm down, girl. You see, I don't actually care about the exact extent of your girlishness. All I'm saying is that I won't ever ask you to help me with any manly work, and I had been under the impression that it's a good thing, generally, to be spared from it. Anyway, excuse me, please. The, girl, the trees won't start chopping down themselves, I'm afraid. That lazy botany. He's not gonna give me any... Last time he gave me something that would convert my unusable items. Shh, 
So this guy's even more useless on to me on this route, huh? Great. Yeah, he had something that can convert all your unused armor, which is really good because you're unlikely to actually get anything you actually need. Nobody's opening. Probably return to town for now. Hey, I see some adventurers here. Hey, he drops- he has some more stuff now. I can actually... I can actually upgrade. Finally. I can learn new stuff. I can give new stuff to Brutus as well. Hmm. Should I go for defense or not? Honey. Will restore human hit points. But it's expensive. But it's supposed to get more expensive later, huh? Nine damage. Okay, that's not bad, but I need armor. Sell me armor. Okay. Infield movement X. I think that lowered attack damage, so maybe I should go with that. Or get both. Both, yeah. No, both would be too expensive. I'm too poor. Unless I could... Hmm... That's it? Four cents? That's nothing! Man, this game does not want me to be able to do any- Ugh... The entrance of the boards remains sturdy. Everlasting peace in the world will take some more time, I'm afraid. At least I have finally learned how to heal injuries. Oh my, you're hurt. Maybe I, I, may, may I bestow you my invigorating spell? Uh, sure. Go for it. But with pleasure. So lay your hand on you and spoke a prayer. Uh, did it work? Miracle managed. Oh, and before you go, please take this. It's a healing end, but it may serve you another purpose. You shouldn't use it too hastily. Honey, thanks. Who would have thought that an inept magician would be my greatest obstacle? It sure is a mi miserable coincidence that m all, of all magicians out there, we, we met him. I want all that fame I deserve, goddammit. How do I actually get past you? Are you kidding me? They're not letting me go- Are you... I can't continue? That's ridiculous. How am I supposed to recharge my robot? Hey, there's a new character here. Greetings, human. I came here to get some silent water. Silent water? We need this water to maintain the power of our magical abilities. Us elves, that is. Elves, huh? Nice to meet one. The pleasure is mine, but it's about time I take go take over my business, I'm afraid. You want to offer your help? Yes. Is there any way I can help you? Oh, thank you, but I think I'm fine. You can tell my friend I'm heading home, though, if you happen to meet her. She's probably in the slumber woods, engaged in setting some magical object again. That seems to be all she's interested in. Well, I must return home. Fare you well. Actually, I want to explore the swamps a bit. Maybe I should help this elven woman first and see if I can find her friend. Huh? What do you see? Oh, it's another gate, but I can't get to it. I don't have I don't have a way to get past the slimes. The portal is over there. I wonder if I can actually jump across these low paths to reach it. It looks complicated, but I'm sure it's possible. Are you serious? You expect me to actually do it? If I can get that place uh, with the overgrown log, a tree log first, I should have a better view. I think I can jump on that one from here, but I should be very careful not to fall into the water. Wait, what are you doing here? Well met, human girl. This portal always catches my attention when I come to this part of the slumber woods. I've examined a few of the ancient contraptions before, but this one is a different, a different from the arrows, it appears. Well, a message from my friend. Heading home already. That was indeed a rather short visit to the woods today. What a shame. At this rate, I will not be completing my studies anytime soon. Well, thank you very much, though. I shall give you a hint about how to proceed through the hush sense by way of thanks for carrying the message. 
You do want to have a look at the yard portal north of the hush lines, do you not? Um, I guess so. Then mark these words. If you pour something golden into the song flowers, the melody will s they sing will do away with the slime frogs. Oh, I see. Be I already have honey, though. That should help me. Slime frogs? Slime frogs, the things that block the lily pads. They hate music, especially nice and short melodies written in the key of E minor, also known as the Elven key. I see, so I'm gonna get rid of them with something golden. Jump across the lily pads and head north. Exactly. Sounds like a plan, thank you. Pleasure. Meet me again someday. Fare you well. I can't go back in? Uh. That was one strange girl, I can tell you. Something about her was super creepy, but I can't put my finger on it. I feel like peculiar resentment rides within me when she gave me that smile, even though it was undoubtedly a gracious one intentionally. Then why in the world would you be so eager to buy honey of all things? Man, such a hurry, as if she was addicted to this stuff. Ahem, well, anything you need? You still sell honey, though, but you don't sell any armor for jokers, which sucks. As long as I think it's there, I can't proceed. So what did she say again? Something golden, something with a flower? Uh, how do I reach a flower? That's the question. Use honey on this one. Yes. Let's give it a try. Please be a permanent fix to the frog problem. Why is the other frog still there? I guess I have to use a specific piece of. Uh, I have to target specific flowers. I have a second honey, but still. A super bat. Blood suck. Something fell to the ground. Honey! Oh, an extra one in case I used... I don't have enough, huh? When he sends vampiric field. Hmm. Be useful. Yes. Let's sure, see it again. There's still one more piece. Low. Do I have enough honey for this? Estragon. As Grandfather used to say, few things are what they seem to be. Blue Crystal. Yes, absolutely getting rid of that last one too. Hmm. 
Use Lazy Swirl to return home. From there you can return a swirl last used. The one currently active is marked by a white light. Okay, good. Finally, I was afraid I wasn't going to be able to return home and heal my robot. Are this guy still blocking the way by, by any chance? It didn't work th this time either. Man, I don't know what to do. It looks so easy in the books. Do you think I'll ever be able to do it? Uh, yes. You'll be able to cast whatever spell you want if you just keep trying. You think so? Thank you. I'll give my best. He's not the greatest magician under the sun, but at least he's funny to watch him casting the most basic spells. No, seriously, even I can cast some of them better. The fact that I have to walk around them is kind of annoying, just to get to the merchant, huh? Hmm. Five. Fence up. Nice. That actually makes me more defensive than the robot. Hold on, I think I forgot something here. Yes, Autumn Moral. Hello Elsa, how's it going? Turn in the stuff. What, say again, you were able to enter a game board? Are you really serious? That's radical. It was a great experience, wasn't it? Oh, I can tell from the look on your face. I'm sure your robot had no problem smashing that, those l l nasty little critters there, had it? Oh, oh man, this gets me all too excited. I'm so proud of being part of this, Elsa, as I've always dreamt of playing the game myself with some robotic allies. Who would have thought that a girl like you would make this dream come true, kind of? You should tell the Elder, though, since I'm sure there's something wrong with the portals if you could actually open one of them. They have been locked for many centuries, as you know. Do you being able to enter a board could mean there's some trouble ahead, don't you think? Oh, but don't worry, we still have that robot to take care of whatever may come up th th to us. With it running, there's no way this village would fall. Don't jinx it, man! Oh, I see you have a crucial circuit. Her kit. Okay. Hmm. Greetings, young lady. How can this old man be of any help to you? What was it? I can sense a trace of the game on you. Do not say a word. It's already clear to me what must have happened. The game has reopened itself to you for reasons unknown, and courageously you accepted its challenge. I don't know why someone like you would have such extraordinary fighting capabilities, but I guess the girl does have, have her secrets, does she not? This is something I will not question. What I will question, however, is what made the game behave like that. I have my doubts that I can possibly find out myself, but I will do my best. For the time being, you should go. See, you should see how far you can get into the game. This is nothing to worry about. The game was designed as a mere training method, so there is no serious harm to be feared. But take this with you. It may prove valuable, maybe even necessary in the near future, so do not use it mindlessly. An ambitious adventurer should always be extremely considerate when it comes to our items, for games can be lost if the wrong item is used or sold carelessly. Honey, would you like me to share some wisdom? Okay. Okay, we can enter this house now. Linvay's Hut. Oh, a visitor, I haven't had any in quite some time. My name's Linvay, what's yours? I can rename myself here? Well, no point. That's a weird time to rename yourself. Elsa. Oh, Elsa. What a beautiful name. It's a pleasure meeting you. What are you doing in these woods? It's been it's become a little dangerous lately, haven't you heard? Haven't you seen? There are flitter mice out there. Large and obnoxious ones. It's super creepy. Are you talking about bats? Yeah, yeah. As a witch, I shouldn't be afraid of flitter mice. They call them rats with wings. Heh. <laughs> But I am. Simple as that. Don't let go of me, okay? Anyway, you better stay here with me until things get more, com you know, comfortable. So make yourself at home. Chest key? Maybe someone sketchy has searched a girl's bed, let alone take a key you find it. Good thing I know it's just a chest key. Underwear and secret things, who knows? That might sweet close to your taste. Crucial circuit, I gotta give that over to the, that, uh, the engineer later. His grandfather used to say, few things are what they seem to be. Blue crystal. Extra container. Nasty brew. A brew so nasty to, it gets rid of just about everything, including appetite, bad matter, guests, cursed trees, demons, and extraterrestrial parasites. Ingredients. Normal potion. 1 to 10 balls of beer. Cheese preferably expired. Three miraculous vegetables, 
Three mushrooms, six nuts, something super nutritious. So I could use this to get rid of some uh, something crazy, huh? Like those things that keep blocking my way, the, the trees. There are also a few handwritten notes. Vegetable, grass different color, west, west, southwest, east, west, mushroom, north woods, in pairs. Nutrition, ask Gramps. I mean, yeah, I need to decipher this. That's my homework for the holidays. I love brewing, but I just don't know where to get all the things I need. Hmm. These notes are a little cryptic, but I'm sure I can figure out what they mean. What was that? Make yourself at home. If you go, please keep your eyes open for berries and bring them here, okay? Not much I can else I can do, can I? Yeah, not... Uh, sleep for now. Ugh. Can't break open any of these. You won't help me in this route. Thanks for tuning in to this Let's Play of Game Master Plus. If you enjoyed, please leave a like, subscribe, and or hit the bell icon.